Ryan Garcia has missed weight, man. Just give it to what? Missed weight, man. Come again, say what? Missed weight, man. <laughs> Please welcome King Rai, Ryan Garcia! He came in, stepped on the scale, and chugged a beer. What were you drinking up there? I was drinking a nice ass beer, that shit was fire! What? Nice ass beer, that shit was fire! Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PG, Edgy, Praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. Y'all know what it is, man. Dr. Boxing Talk is here, man. The doctor's in the house. Look, check this out. <laughs> so we just saw the weigh-in of the much-anticipated, I would say, super lightweight title fight at 140. But as you, those of you probably already know by now, it is no longer a title fight. Just give it to what? No longer a title fight. Come again, say what? No longer a title fight. Because Ryan Garcia has missed weight, man. God damn it, that's a big fat ass! No, no. Hey, but, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, man. The man did it in the most disrespectful manner that you could think of. He came in, stepped on the scale, and chugged a beer. What did he say? Hey. And chugged a beer. Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. And chugged a beer. Please welcome King Rye, Ryan Garcia! It's about to go back. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, man. If if that's not the 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 epitome of or the physical embodiment of I don't give up. Oh wow! I don't know what it is, man. That is like, bro. He. I'm gonna tell you why that that's it. That's 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 scary, right? It's scary because you know, on one hand, it's like, hey, man. You know, Ryan Garcia, this is going to be his first title fight. That's what everybody said he should he, he needs to try to go for a title, right? And he didn't make weight. So you can say, hey, man, the negative is that he's not taking it seriously. So that's definitely a knock, you know what I'm saying? It seems like he's not, he's not dedicated. You know, people question his dedication. People question how much he was distracted. People question how much he's going um, he's gonna, to he's gonna commit to the sport, right? And commit to taking this fight seriously. So on one hand, you could say that's a knock, right? That's a negative. But on the other hand, you know, glass half full, optimistic type of thinking, you could say, if you was ever, what? ever, what? ever going to come in overweight, okay. this would be the time to do so against the person who came in as a super middleweight, yes, 165, damn near 168, in his last fight at super lightweight, which is at 140. That's Devin the American Dream Haney, you know what I'm saying? Devin the Dream Haney, he came in super heavy. So if you was ever going to miss weight, this would be the time to do it. So you can look at it like that. Like maybe he's just playing mind games, you know. And of course, you know, even when he stepped on the scales, he chugged that beer. It could not be beer. You know, he could be joking. It could be water filled up in a beer bottle. What, what were you drinking up there? I was drinking a nice ass beer. That shit was fire. It could be all types of things. We'll never know. Only he knows. But just the, just his actions, just, just, just the thought to even do that and demonstrate and exhibit the sense of I don't give up. Tom Murphy! Cause he don't care, man. He's like, hey, you could take, you could, you, you, you could take the, the title opportunity. You could take the money because he was taxed. He was taxed 500k per pound. Yes, 500k per pound, a half a million per pound. How much did you have to give him? Uh, I had to give him 1.5 million, but that's light work for me. Come on now. Which means he was three pounds over, or 3.2 pounds specifically. So that means he he was charged a total of 1.5 million, man. Damn. I'm sorry. And it was just funny because when I I I, 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 I was um, suspicious, my bad. The plane's going by right now. I, I was suspicious that he was going to miss weight, and convinced he was going to miss weight because we need when he initially made the belt the other, I mean made the bet the other day, the wager that he was going to miss weight with Devin Haney. What was his father saying? His father was saying, "No, no, God, no, God, please, no, no." <laughs> Like he was falling off a cliff, about to die, you know. So he, he knew he knew himself wasn't gonna make the weight. He knew what was gonna happen, but you know, Ryan, he, he went through with it. Nobody stopped him, you know what I'm saying? Because he's he's definitely uh, runs things on his team, you know. So um, 
With that being said, man, there's a lot of red flags coming from the Ryan's team and it continues to do so leading up to the fight, including today's weigh-in. But like I said, there's some positive things to take away from it too, man. Maybe he's like, hey, I just want to beat, I just want to beat him. I want to run these mind games and, and I want to beat him so badly that I'll go to the ends of even sacrificing money, sacrificing a title opportunity and, and, and to, to ensure that I come in, you know, healthy as pos as healthy as possible and as strong as possible. So well, it's, it's yet to be seen, man. But to get to the weigh-in, man, it was funny because the antics and the shenanigans started off quick before Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney even got there themselves. Guess who started fighting? Bill Haney and B-Hop, yes. <laughs> and I don't know why, Bill Haney. Uh, of course, you're a man at the end of the day, so you ain't going back down for nobody. I don't care who they are. But at the same time, man, B-Hop had the record for uh, the most successful title defenses at middleweight, bro. I don't think you want them problems or that pressure, you feel me? But that was funny. They started it off, and then... Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney had a very intense face-off, man. This is the most intense face-off I've face ever seen. That face-off was very entertaining. Um, yeah, I look forward to the fight, man. Um, I'm not going to lie to you. Do I feel like it could still potentially be canceled? Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> Do I think that 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 uh that uh Ryan Garcia is in trouble and he could potentially get uh not only stopped but made made to retire on his stool? Yeah. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. <laughs> but do I also believe that Ryan Garcia still has a slim chance of, of winning and, and doing probably the ups the best the biggest upside in boxing for a long while? I also think yeah that's possible. When my name come up, respect it. Let's go. Stop playing with my fucking name. I'll drill y'all. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I think the most probable thing that's going to happen. I don't think it's probable, though. It's possible, but it's not probable, in my opinion. I think Devin Haney's going to win. Um, he, he's a consummate professional. I think he, I think he is more skilled. And I think, I, I, like, with all, I, I don't think that Ryan Garcia is just trolling. I don't think that Ryan Garcia is just getting over with his antics. I don't think that Ryan Garcia has a full plan, you know, in store for Devin Haney. I think he's playing it day by day. And so I don't think he'll be successful in the fight. You know, uh, uh, I'm not sure, certain that he's that he's fully healthy and fully there. So with all that being said, um, uh, boxing is more than just a physical sport. It's, it's also mental warfare. And I think Devin Haney, even though Ryan Garcia seems to be winning the mental warfare game leading up to the fight, I think Devin Haney is going to win inside that ring. And I, I could see him even making Ryan Garcia quit on the stool, you know, in between rounds if if the fight indeed happens, you know, I think it's going to happen, but yeah, I, I don't be surprised if, if it doesn't. Because remember, uh, was it F.A. Ajagba? F.A. Ajagba, the heavyweight, you know, his, his opponent came in and walked right out the ring. Bring that ass here, boy. <laughs> yeah, the fight didn't happen. It still counts as a win for Ajagba, but the fight technically, te technically happened, but it really didn't happen. So it could be something like that, man. We'll see, man. Those antics are crazy. Ryan Garcia is still going off, man. Chugging that beer is <laughs> diabolic. I appreciate y'all, but y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comments, man. You know we'll be live for, uh, we'll go on live later tonight uh, for, for the stream, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about NTB Boxing Tings Talk, and you can join the stream and we can talk about it. And then, of course, we're going to go live for providing boxing commentary tomorrow, man. That weigh-in was crazy, man. 1.5 mil down the drain, but hey, when your pocket's deep, it don't matter, man. I'm talking about well, well, what's a penny to a boss. But that's light work for me. Come on, now. So appreciate y'all. We out. Remember, with God, we can do anything. Without God, we're nothing. God bless. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.